Hello, I'm Dan Williams, the Media Relations Director for the City of Cleveland, and this is The Bottom Line Up Front. In this edition of Bluff, I will discuss some little known facts about Cleveland City Hall. Did you know the original City Hall had several locations prior to arriving at 601 Lakeside Avenue? One of these locations was the Case Block, a commercial building on Superior Avenue that stood in the present location of the Cleveland Public Library's main building. The city leased the case block from 1875 to 1906 at the cost of $36,000 per year and finally purchased the building from the case estate in 1906. The city continued to occupy the building until the completion of the present building. J. Milton Dyer was the prominent architect selected to design City Hall in 1903, and his architectural plans were adopted in 1906 by the Cleveland City Council. Dyer incorporated a neoclassic and bow arts design with Doric order in the main lobby to create a simple setting for city government. Other notable buildings designed by Dyer are the Tavern Club, the Cleveland Athletic Club, the historic First Methodist Church, and the U.S. Coast Guard Station at Whiskey Island. Cleveland City Hall is five stories high with a basement and sub-basement. The structure is of steel framework and reinforced concrete. The exterior walls are Vermont gray granite. The rotunda is the center of City Hall. It is 100 feet long and 55 feet wide. The walls are lined with Botoncini marble imported from Italy. The official groundbreaking ceremony for City Hall was held in 1911 under the administration of Mayor Herman C. Baer. The formal dedication of City Hall was on July 4, 1916. On this day, the doors officially opened at noon for a public tour. The dedication was held in conjunction with the city's annual Independence Day festivities. Cleveland City Council adopted legislation proclaiming City Hall as Cleveland's first official historic landmark on December 4, 1972. The bottom line, before its current location at 601 Lakeside Avenue, City Hall was located in various places across Cleveland. One of these locations was the Case Block, a commercial building on Superior Avenue that stood in the present location of the Cleveland Public Library's main building. City Council adopted the plans drawn by J. Milton Dyer for City Hall construction in 1906. Groundbreaking for City Hall was held in 1911 during the Herman C. Bear administration. City Hall was named the first official historic landmark in Cleveland on December 4, 1972 through legislation adopted by Cleveland City Council. I'm Dan Williams, and this has been The Bottom Line Upfront.